We're given vector a and b in component form and asked to find negative two times vector a plus three times vector b. So we'll first find the resultant vector and then we'll show what's happening when we find this sum in space. So for negative two times vector a plus three times vector b, we would have negative two times, again, vector a plus, again, three times vector b. And now for the next step, we'll perform the scalar multiplication. So for negative two times vector a, we'd have an x component of negative two times negative three, that's six. A y component of negative two times positive two, that's negative four. And a z component of negative two times five, or negative ten. And then plus three times vector b, would have an x component of three times negative five, that's negative fifteen. A y component of three times two, that's six. And a z component of three times three, which is nine. And now to find this sum, we'll have the x components, y components, and z components. So for the x component, we'd have six plus negative fifteen. For the y component, we'd have negative four plus six. And for the z component, we'd have negative ten plus nine. And finally, simplifying. The resultant vector would have an x component of six plus negative fifteen, that's negative nine. The y component would be negative four plus six, or two. And the z component would be negative ten plus nine, which is negative one. Now that we've found the resultant vector, let's explain what's happening in space when we find the sum of these scalar multiples of a and b. So vector a is this blue vector, and vector b is the black vector. So for negative two times vector a, we'd have the vector in the opposite direction, twice as long, or having twice the magnitude, which would look like this. So this light green vector is negative two times vector a, and then for three times vector b, we'd have a vector in the same direction with three times the magnitude, which would look like this. Let's go ahead and zoom out here. That's a little bit better. And now to find negative two times vector a plus three times vector b, one way to show this would be to take the initial point of this gray vector, which is three times vector b, and place it at the terminal point of the vector negative two a, which would be this point here. Let's go ahead and show that as well. So again, here's the vector three times vector b, with the initial point at the terminal point of the vector negative two a, and therefore the resultant vector would be the vector with the initial point at the origin and the terminal point at the terminal point of the vector three times vector b, which would be this red vector here. So this red vector here is a resultant vector of negative two times vector a plus three times vector b. So in space it's a little bit more difficult to show the sum of vectors, but it can be done in 3D just like 2D. I hope you found this helpful.